Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this flow to full boat slash how to. During this class we're going to work on different postures and drills that are going to help you improve and work on your full boat. You might need two blocks and a yoga belt or a yoga strap, whatever you can think of to replace it. And when you're ready, just go ahead and meet me on the mat. grab your blocks, place them towards the top of your mat because that's probably where you're going to need them to begin with and simply pressing your hands down, tuck your back toes, let your hips glide you back and up to that downward facing dog right away here. When you're here, take the moment to really settle in the shape, ensure you're taking enough space on the mat if you need to take a few paddle out in the legs. Whatever you need here to find stillness at some point in the shape, if you need to keep a bend in the knees and the heels lifted to ensure that you're really keeping proper alignment. So thinking your armpits are kind of looking at each other, really pressing the floor away, looking towards your belly button, chest is melting towards your thighs. I'll also invite you to close your eyes if you haven't already done so. Starting to bring your attention inward. On your next inhalation, starting with our spinal wave, take a big inhale, drawing your chin to your chest, really rounding in the back of the heart. When your shoulders over wrist, exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze, hips glide you back. To that downward facing dog, when you make your back, head is the last thing to come down. Again, inhale, rolling forward to your high plank, when shoulders over wrist, exhale. Jog the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze, hips guide you back. When you're here, take the last one, so inhale, drawing your chin to your chest, rolling forward to your high plank. Here, exhale, drop the belly. Lifting the tail, lifting the gaze, gliding yourself back. When you make it back, letting your right leg come up, three-legged dog. When you're here, ensuring that you're still letting the heart sink, pressing with both legs, trying to keep those legs as straight as you can. Hips are squared. Next inhalation, lift your left heel off the mat, curling that right thigh into your chest. Exhale, foot comes down. Arms come up for your high lunge. Exhale, lower that back knee down, setting yourself up here for your low lunge. Maybe you'll need to grab onto your blocks, placing your blocks here by your side. As always, you want to keep your hands underneath your shoulders so you're not here. You're staying here, letting the hips really melt down into the stretch. And you may find yourself here. If so, you can always and grab onto your, your lower back and press your hips forward and down to really ensure that you're letting yourself really sink in the stretch. So wherever you are, whatever height of blocks that you need, On your next inhalation, fingertips come down on your blocks, taking a counter stretch here in a half split. So straighten your front leg, Spine is straight and long, belly is in, foot is flexed. On your exhale, we're gonna start and flow between low lunge and half split. So exhale, maybe try and melt your chest towards that front thigh. Inhale, curl your chin to your chest. Let your hips shift forward. Maybe arms come up, low lunge, let those hips sink down. Again, inhale, fingertips come down on your blocks. Let those hips shift back, straighten your front leg, belly is in, exhale. Try and let your chest and heart melt towards that front thigh, inhale, curl your chin in, hips shift forward, arms come up, low lunge, let those hips sink down. Last one here, fingertips come down, shift your hips back, straighten that front leg, half split, since it's the last one, we're going to hold it. So exhale, letting it melt. Even if you stay here the whole time, it's totally fine. As long as you don't start rounding. 
in the back of the heart. So keeping that spine straight, trying to melt forward. Focusing on your breath, hips are square towards the front of the mat. Maybe you're using again your blocks by your side to help you. Next inhalation, come back to your straight back, hips shift forward, arms come up for your low lunge. Inhale, tuck the back toes, lift it up, high lunge. Take another inhale and sway yourself towards the back edge of your mat. Big toes, toes are gonna point in, heels out. Inhale, arms come up. On your exhale, I'm gonna melt into a wide leg fold. Maybe you're gonna need your blocks in front of you. Exhale, shifting the weight forward, letting yourself melt forward. If you're using your blocks here, placing your hands on your blocks, making sure you're wrapping your forms around and in, so not letting them drop around and in, so that you can one day bring the crown of the head down, or maybe you'd like to grab onto the big toes or the back of the heels. If you're doing so, really using your arm strength to bring that crown of the head down, keeping your spine straight. I know it's scary at first, but try and shift, 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 not wait. Towards the tip of your toes. On your next inhalation, fingertips come down on your block, come back to your straight back. On your exhale, simply walking your hands towards the front of their mat, so twisting yourself towards the front of the mat. Try and keep your legs straight, so maybe you'll need to have your hands on your blocks here. And coming onto the back, the tip of your back toes. When you're here, again, straight back, hips are squared wherever you are, belly is in. Exhale, try and melt forward. Maybe bringing your thigh, your chest to your thigh, wherever you are, as long as you're not rounding in the back of the heart. Using those exhalations to create more space. Keeping those shoulders down and away from your ears. Inhale, come back to your straight back. Maybe your fingertips are down or on your blocks. On your exhale, you're gonna really place those hands down. So even if you need to keep a bend in that front leg. And exhale, I'm gonna try and stack that right leg. Shift your weight towards the left, coming into your side plank. Right arm comes up and overhead. On your next inhalation, maybe you stay here. Really lift into that top leg, making a fun little variation. Exhale, maybe right foot comes down. Both arms come up, high lunge. Next inhalation, cactus the arms, spring forward to the top of the mat, prepping yourself here for your standing split. So left hand comes down by your side. You're going to really try and wrap that right arm behind your shin. Exhale, shift the weight forward, kick up. Standing split, doesn't matter if it's straight or not today. Exhale, left foot comes down. Inhale, fingertips come down on your block, straight back. On your next exhalation, we're going to take an alternate bent leg. Forward fold. So I'm going to exhale, bend into your left leg. Trying to bend here onto your right. Maybe you're going to use again your blocks by your side. You're focusing on shifting the weight towards the tip of your toes. Keeping that spine straight. Next inhalation, fingertips come down on your block, come back to your straight back. On your exhale, you're gonna bend into the right this time, keeping that left leg straight, shift the weight forward. Maybe you're using your blocks again. Always doing whatever modification that you need. Next inhalation, come back to your straight back, both legs are straight. This time on your exhale, I'm gonna try and melt to full forward fold. So wherever you are, even if you need to keep a bend into those legs, shifting the weight towards the tip of your toes, maybe wrapping both arms behind your legs, wherever you are, focus on your breath. Next inhalation, come back to your straight back, fingertips come down on your blocks. On your exhale, I'm gonna walk your feet out, so toes are pointing out, heels are in. On your exhale, I'm going to sit your bum back and down. So you're kind of prepping yourself here for a yogi squat. 
On your next inhalation, you're gonna lift those hips back up. Feet come parallel and exhale. Try and melt into a fold. Again, inhale, curling your chin to your chest. Toes come out, heels are in. Exhaling, slowly lowering down to your yogi squat. Again, one last inhale, lift your hips up. Feet come parallel. Exhale, try and melt forward. Inhale, curl your chin to your chest. Fingertips come down on your blocks. Toes come out. Heels are in. Exhale. Slowly lowering down for your yogi squat. This time staying here. So if you need to use your block underneath your bum, to ensure here that you're really keeping that spine straight, you're going to bring both hands to pray to heart. Really using your arms to press those thighs out. Focusing on your breath. Using your exhalation. Keeping those shoulders down and away from your ears. Next exhalation, stay all the way down. Come all the way into a seated position. Bring your feet together right away, making your way into a seated bound angle pose. So when you're here grabbing onto your feet, and you're slowly gonna peel your feet out like you would a book. So feet are together. Grabbing onto your feet, pulling them out like you would a book, keeping those shoulders down and away from your ears. Spine is straight and long. On your next inhalation, maybe you see here, take a big inhale, walk those fingertips forward, keeping your spine straight. Maybe you lower down on the forearms. Maybe you lower your forehead all the way down on the mat. Again, using your exhalations, listening to your body. Next inhalation, lift up on the fingertips. Slowly come back to that seated position. When you're here, slowly bring your thighs together. Maybe give yourself here a little shake from side to side and make your way onto your back. When you're here on your next inhalation, hands come by your sides, straighten your legs up on top of you. Flexing both feet. Next inhalation, stacking that right ankle on top of the left knee, bending into your right leg. Next inhalation, you're gonna clasp your arms around and under that left thigh. Exhaling, bending into your left leg, trying to bring that thigh as close to your chest as you can. Maybe you wanna take some movements here from side to side. See if that intensifies the stretch at all for you. Using your breath here to allow you to create more space. Keeping that spine glued to the mat. Next inhalation, release your hands. And right away, strain your left leg out, coming all the way down to your mat. And your right leg is going to come up, straight up on top of you. On your next inhalation, you're going to point those right toes. Your hands are going to come by your side, palm facing down. Inhale, you're going to tap those right toes down. Exhale, kick up. So using your breath and your, your core to really bring that leg as high as you can. Following your breath. Inhale down. Exhale up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Few more down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Last one. Hold it at the top. Next inhalation, maybe you're going to bend into that right leg using your strap, maybe your yoga belt, taking that little loop, looping it around your foot. We're going to take our little reclined split here. So on your exhale, I'm going to slowly start. See if you can straighten that top leg, keeping your hips squared. There's the front and the back. Both feet are flexed here. Focus on your breath. Use those exhalations to release that tension. If you gain more flexibility, you can slowly start and see if you can maybe grab onto your foot. Maybe one day create more space. And lowering that leg all the way down to the ground. Always using your breath. Next inhalation, slowly release. Bringing both eyes back into your chest. 
And on your next inhalation, take a few rocks forward and back. Feet are going to come down, lifting yourself back up to your chair. Inhale, rise all the way up. Palms come together to heart on your exhale. Inhale, rise up. Arms reach up. Exhale, dive it forward. Melting forward here, forward fold, shifting the weight towards the tip of the toes. Inhale, fingertips come down on your blocks, come to your straight back. Exhale, plant the hands down, step it back for your high plank. When you're here, shift the weight forward, chaturanga, upward facing to downward facing dog. When you're here, take a moment, settle in the shape. I'm going to repeat something similar on the other side. Starting with our spinal wave, so take a big inhale, draw that chin to your chest, rolling forward to your high plank. When shoulders over us, exhale. Draw the belly, hips towards you back to your downward facing dog. When you're here again, inhale, draw your chin to your chest, rolling forward to your high plank. When shoulders over us, exhale. Drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze, hips towards you back. Last one, inhale, rolling forward to your high plank, when shoulders over is, exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze. When you make it back, let that left leg come up, three-legged dog, keeping those hips squared, trying to keep your legs as straight as you can. Next inhalation, right heel lifts is off the mat, bringing that left thigh to your chest. Exhale, foot comes down, arms come up. High lunge. Next exhalation, lower that back knee down. Can maybe grab onto your blocks. Blocks come by your side. If you do so, they're not here. Keeping your hands by your side, focusing on your breath. Ankle is over, I mean knees over ankle. Next inhalation, fingertips come down. Shift those hips back. Come back to your straight back here. We're gonna flow between our half split and low lunge. So exhale, try and melt. Inhale, curling your chin to your chest. Hips shift forward. Maybe arms come up. Exhale, let those hips sink down. Inhale, fingertips come down. Shift those hips back, straight back, foot is flexed. Exhale, try and melt. Again, inhale, curling your chin to your chest, hips shift forward, arms come up, low lunge. The last one here, so we're gonna hold it. Fingertips come down, shift those hips back. Exhale, try and melt, holding it here, focus on your breath. Keep that spine straight. Next inhalation, press it up, bring it back to your low lunge, arms come up, tug the back toes, lift it up, high lunge. Next inhalation, shift it towards the back edge of your mat, toes come in, heels are out, prepping for your wide leg fold again, but this time, maybe you repeat the, the same variation that we did before, or you're going to inhale, cross your fingers behind your back, puffing your heart forward. Exhale, let it melt forward, shifting the weight towards the tip of the toes and using your hands. So you're pulling with your hands to maybe try and bring them all the way down to the ground, wherever you are, focus on that breath. Next inhalation, come out halfway. Exhale, hands come down on your blocks. I'm gonna walk your hands forward towards the front of the mat. Again, keeping both legs straight, coming onto the tip of your right toes. Maybe you're gonna need your blocks and you need your hands. Take a big inhale, come into your straight back. Belly is in, shoulders are down and away from your ears. Exhale, maybe you let it melt. Chest to thigh. Focus on your breath. Use those exhalation. Inhale, 
Inhale, come back to your straight back. Maybe you're on your blocks, on your fingertips. On your exhale, plant your hand down. Maybe you need to keep a bend in that front leg. You're going to shift your weight on the right side. Try and stack your left leg on top of the right, coming into your side plank. Next exhalation, maybe bend into that top leg. Exhale, maybe lower. Left foot down, arms come up. High lunge. Next inhalation, cactus the arms and spring to the top of the mat. On your exhale, right hand comes down by your side. You're going to really wrap that left arm behind your left shin. Exhale, kick up, shift the weight forward. Standing split. Doesn't matter if it's straight or not today. As long as you're trying. Exhale, right foot comes down. Fingertips come down. Into your shape back here. Exhale, simply letting your mouth forward. So forward fold, shift the weight towards the tip of your toes. Next inhalation, come back to your shape back. On your next exhalation, slowly walking your feet out. So toes are pointing out, heels are in. Exhale, sitting your bum all the way back and down. Hands come to prayer to heart. Make your way back to that little yogi squat, really using your arms, pressing those thighs out towards the side. Next exhalation, lower that bum all the way down. And this time, you're going to bring your legs by your side as wide as you can, as wide as your flexibility allows you to today, making your way to your seated wide leg fold. So when you're here, first things first, we're going to start with our little pelvic tilt. So you're going to rock your hips forward and back. So really exaggerating that movement. Forward and back. Last one. Forward and back. Now keep your hips. Keep that pelvic tilt. So rocking forward, popping your booty up. Start to walk your hands forward. Keep that spine straight. Shoulders down. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you lower on the forearms. Maybe one day. Slowly. Bring your chest all the way down, keeping your spine straight. Use those exhalation to really release your tension, allow you to go deeper in that stretch. Next inhalation, slowly lift yourself back up to that seated position. Bring your thighs together. Again, you can give yourself a little shake. And right away, making your way onto your back. Legs come straight up. Hands come by your side. Feet are flexed. Next inhalation, you're going to bend into that left leg. Stacking your left ankle on top of the right knee. On your next inhalation, clasping your arms around and under that right thigh. Bending into your right leg. And trying to bring your thigh as close to your chest as you can. When you're here, again, maybe you want to take those movements from side to side. Really keeping that spine glued to the mat. Focusing on your breath. Next inhalation, release your hands. Straighten your right leg down and in front of you. Your left leg is going to come up. Pointing your left toes. Going into our leg swings again. So palm facing down by your side. Inhale, tap down. Exhale, kick up. So down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Two more. And up. Down and up. Two more. Down. Up. Last one. Hold it at the top. Next inhalation. Using your little yoga belt or your strap. Bending into your left leg. Grabbing onto your strap. And on your exhale, you're going to simply start and work on straightening both legs, keeping your feet flexed, hips are squared to the front of the mat, belly is in. As you gain more flexibility again, maybe you grab onto your foot and lower down. Using those exhalations to create that space, allowing you to go deeper, making sure you're not holding on to your breath. As always, if you find yourself holding on to your breath, take a few full breaths. Some deep exhales. Next exhalation, slowly bring it back to center. Bring both thighs back into your chest. Take a few rocks forward and back. And then bring your feet down, rocking all the way up to your chair pose. Next inhalation, rise up. 
Palms come together to heart on your exhale. Inhale, reaching up all the way up. Exhale, dive it forward to your forward fold. Inhale, fingertips come down on your blocks. Exhale, planting the hands down, step it back, high plank. When you're here, maybe knees, shift the weight forward, chaturanga, upward facing, to downward facing dog. Take a full breath here. Settle in the shape. Next inhalation, right leg lifts us up. Three-legged dog. Take a big inhale, left heel lifts off the mat. Curl that right thigh to your chest. Exhale, foot comes down. Arms come up. High lunge. Next inhalation, straighten your arms by your side. Squeeze the legs together. Straighten that front leg. Exhale, heart melts forward for that modified pyramid. Maybe your hands are going to come down on your blocks. Again, heart is lifted. Exhale. Try and see if you can melt all the way down, melting your chest to your thigh, keeping that spine straight. So wherever you are, even if you stay here the whole time, as long as you feel a sensation. Next inhalation, walking your fingers and your hands towards the back edge of your mat. On your exhale, you're going to sit your bum back and down, prepping yourself here for a uh, side lunge. Maybe you'll need your blocks by your side to really ensure that you're keeping here that knee over your ankle. When you're here, hey, palms come together to heart. Focus on your breath. Next inhalation, maybe you stay here or you take that bended variation. So grabbing your left arm, kind of looping it underneath your thigh, clasping maybe your hands together, holding on to the forearms, whatever variation that you want to try today. Next inhalation, bring your hands back to heart. Inhale, lift up and press it up to your high lunge. Next inhalation, cactus and step forward to your chair on your exhale. See if you can sit a bit lower. Exhale, sit all the way down. Right away, boat hold. So when you're here, maybe you're keeping a bend in the legs, our legs are straight, heart is lifted, not doing our full bow, just trying to see, warming up our core, focus on your breath, exhale, feet come down, straightening your legs in front of you. Now when you're here, I'm going to take a half forward fold. So starting by bending into our right leg, you're going to bring your right foot inside your left thigh. Maybe you're going to grab your yoga belt, your strap if you're still working on your fold. Feet are flexed. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, leave it your heart. If you're using your strap, you're going to loop it underneath your foot. Pulling with your hands so you can keep those shoulders down and away from your ears, spine straight. Maybe try and bring that chest to thigh. Focus on your breath wherever you are. Next inhalation, slowly lift yourself back up, come back to the seated position, and right away straighten your right leg back in front of you. When you're here, you're going to point both toes. Placing your fingertip beside each leg, we're going to do some leg compression with our left leg to begin. So I'm going to take a big inhale, rounding a bit in the back of the heart. Exhale, try and lift up. Inhale, down, lift up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Three more. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now when you're here, take a full breath. On your next inhalation, you're going to grab your left foot from the outside. You're going to really try, I'm going to move the mic for a second. So you're going to try and compress your thigh really into your chest, grabbing onto your foot from the outside. Maybe this is really challenging. You can also loop your strap around your foot. So on your next inhalation, you're going to be here. 
and exhale, we're gonna try and straighten your leg. This is really hard, it may look like this at first. That's totally fine on your next inhale, you bring it in. Exhale, extend, down, extend, so down, extend, few more down, extend, down, extend, last one, down, extend, now try and hold wherever you are, exhale, release, next inhalation, again, both thighs come in, both holds, so maybe you keep both legs bent, or legs straight, heart is lifted, exhale, feet come down, rocking it forward to your chair, arms come up, Exhale, hands come down on your block, straighten your legs, shifting the weight forward for your straight back. Exhale, melting it to your forward fold. Inhale, hands come down on your blocks. Step it back this time. Now we're facing dog. Take a full breath here. Next inhalation, left leg right away, lifts up, three-legged dog. Take a big inhale, right heel lifts off the mat, curl that left thigh to your chest. Exhale, foot comes down, arms come up, high lunge. Inhale, hands come by your sides, straighten that front leg, squeeze those legs together, heart melts forward with that modified pyramid. Maybe hands come down on your blocks. Take a big inhale, first to ensure your hips are squared, and then exhale. Try and melt maybe your chest onto your thigh. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. Next inhalation, come back to your straight back. On your exhale, you're gonna start to walk your hands in towards the back edge of your mat again, sitting your bum back and down for that side lunge, maybe your Hands come together to heart. Maybe you're using your blocks to keep that knee stacked over your ankle. Next inhale, maybe you see here again, take that bended variation. So this time wrapping your right arm around your leg, grabbing maybe onto your form. Next inhalation, hands come back, period to heart. Lift it up, press it forward. Back to your high lunge. Inhale, cactus the arm. Step forward to your chair. Exhale, sit all the way down. Right away, bow hold. So same as before. If you kept a bent in your legs, can do that again. Focus on your breath. Exhale, lower legs down. Same little drill that we did earlier. But on our right leg this time, so using left foot, it's going to come onto the inside of your right thigh, keeping both feet flexed here. You used your yoga belt before, go ahead and grab it again. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, melt forward, leaning with your heart. Keep those shoulders down and away from your ears. Focus on your breath. Next inhalation, lift up on the fingertips. Walk yourself back up to seated position. On your next inhalation, bring your both legs straight in front of you. Your next inhalation, slowly bring your fingertips in front of you beside your knees. Then you're gonna inhale, run into the back of the heart, point to your toes. You're gonna do those core compressions. So on your exhale, you're gonna lift that right leg up and up, up and down, up and down up and down up and down three more up down up down last up down take a little break a little shake if you need on your next inhalation so you're taking your other drill so you're going to grab your right foot from the inside really compressing your thigh, so I'm kind of wrapping my arm, so I'm really compressing that right thigh to my chest. On your exhale, try and extend, wherever it is, even if it's here. 
So they find, bring it back in, inhale. Exhale, extend. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more, down, up. Last one, down. Keep it up, focus on your breath. Exhale, lower. Again, both eyes come into your chest. Maybe your legs were straight if they were before. Both hold. Keeping that spine straight as you can. Heart is lifted. Exhale, feet come down. Shift your weight forward. Come back to your chair. Exhale, hands come down. Straighten your legs. Straighten your back. Straight back. Take a full inhale here. Exhale. Melt to your forward fold, shift away forward. Inhale, plant your hands down. Step it back. Now we're facing dog. When you're here, take a full breath. Next inhalation, lift both heels off the mat. Look in between your hands. Either step or bend the knees. Hop to your straight back. Exhale, I'm going to stay your bum all the way down. Straighten your legs in front of you. When you're here, both feet are flexed. I'm going to start by taking a full forward fold. If you use a strap, you can also grab it again now. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, melting forward. Keep those shoulders down and away from your ears. Focus on your breath. Use your exhalation. Next inhalation, lift up on the fingertips, walk your hands back up, come back to that seated position. On your next inhalation, we're going to do the compression drills, try and lift both legs at the same time. So placing again, fingertips or the side of each knee, inhale, round into the upper back, exhale, try and lift up, and down, up, and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, three more, up. Last one, lower down. Now this time when you're here, I'm gonna slowly attempt our first boat pose, our first full boat. You can attempt this three, uh, I mean two times, but you can attempt it as many times as you want. You're gonna wrap your arms around your legs. So again, same as you as before. So keeping the heart lifted, you're gonna try and bring both thighs to your chest. On your exhale, I'm gonna try and straighten your legs. As much as you can, maybe you're going to need to readjust. Bring those thighs closer. Focus on your breath. Maybe you look up. Try and keep those shoulders down. Use your core. Exhale, lower. Take a little break. I'm going to do this one more time. So take a full breath here. Next inhalation, right away. Both thighs to your chest. Grab your feet from the outside. Compressing thighs to chest, keeping the heart lifted. Exhale, try and extend. Again, maybe you need to kind of readjust yourself. Focus on your breath. If you fall down, you can try again. Exhale, release, and right away, making your way onto your back. So when you're here, slowly extending that left leg in front of you, keeping a bend into your right leg. You're going to exhale, slowly strain your right arm by your side, palm facing down, using your left hand onto that right leg. Exhale, slowly looking towards the right, you're going to try and let that knee that right knee come down on your left side. Doesn't matter if it touches the ground or not, as long as your shoulder blades stay glued to the mat. Next inhalation, slowly come back to your center. Exhale, extend your right leg in front, switching sides. So again, Extending your left arm by your side, palm facing down this time, using your right hand onto your left thigh, 
looking towards the left exhale slowly letting that knee come down keeping those shoulder blades glued to the mat focus on your breath Next inhalation, come back to your center. Exhale, extend your left leg in front of you. Arms come by your side. We're gonna finish this practice by taking a few breaths in Shavasana to really integrate everything that we just worked on. As always, I truly as always, I truly hope that you enjoyed this flow to full boat slash how to and that you have a wonderful day. Namaste.